attract my attention? Yes, get this bloody boat out of my way. The line's a strong arm, sir, but it's not strong enough to lift that. Now, why don't we try waiting a few minutes? Otherwise, we could find ourselves waiting 30 days, couldn't we? All right, all right! Don't worry, I've got everything under control. That's very sweet of you. I'm a sweet person. How long will it be staying? As long as it takes to get out of here. Could take a week. Shut up! Shut up! Uh, I think you've got more trouble that end. Oh, God. I told you to hold your end up! <coughs> will you get that lot out of there? You need flipping Clint Eastwood up here! Ha! Ha! Head them up, move them out! Stop them doggies moving! <coughs> They ain't doggies, them cows. I know that, you stupid farmer. Why didn't you take them up the motorway? It's wider. Ah, but little bottom market's up there. Just get them out of here. Ha, ha, ha. How do you turn them? I don't turn them. Dog turns them. Well, where's the flipping dog? Didn't bring the dog. No turns. Tis straight road to market. Listen, don't get me annoyed, boy, because if you get me annoyed, that lot will be coin beef in no time. I'll tell you something, I'm going to kill these pigging cows in a minute. Come on, come on, what's the problem? Turn them round. We need a dog. You lot, back. <laughs> That's fantastic, Tom, it's absolutely fantastic. And you, get that loader moving. Right, Tom, that was fantastic. Come on, come on, give her. Come on, come, 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 come on. Back, back, come on. Get that boat out of here, just move it. Oh, hello, how are you? Can I move it now? You can move anything you want, lady. I still don't think I can get it out of here. I'll do it for you. Come on, move over. Move over. On second thoughts, I think you better do it. On third thoughts, I think I'd better do it. Constable Paul, will you stop chatting that bird up and move it? All right. All right, all right. That was steering. We. Oui. Very useful. There you are, darling. Thank you very much. That's my pleasure. Bye. I'll bet you've got lovely eyes. I wouldn't mind climbing up her rigging, Tommy. Eh? Very nice. Very nice, that is. Good God! Something wrong, sir? What the hell's happened to my car? Uh, well, it would appear as though something has hit it, sir. It would appear as if something's hit it. That's an amazing deduction, Sergeant. Yes, I would say that. Something's hit it. Well, um, it was causing an obstruction, sir. That car... That car was parked legitimately by the curbside. Ah, but it was obstructing the passage of the boat. Boat. Yes, we get lots of boats down here in the summer. In fact, this place is sometimes like the English Channel. Just a minute, just a minute. Are you aware you've just assaulted a police officer? You saw him, Tom. He hit a policeman. Bobby, cool it. Smashed headlamp. Front wing dented. You're insured, aren't you? Because if not, that's another offence. Are all the police around here idiots? There's only us two. That explains it. Hey! Don't get me annoyed, because if you get me annoyed... Bobby, Tommy, please, please, cool it. This calls for a little tact. You're right, Tommy, tact. Listen, don't think you city slickers can come down here and overtake the place because you can't. Now, I want to see your driving licence, your name and your address. Uh, I was wondering when you're going to get round to that. The name is Cronshaw, the address, Dorminster Police Headquarters, and the Chief Constable. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like your names and the name of your station. At Ball, sir, Little Bottom. I don't want a description, just the name. Little Bottom, sir, but it's spelt Bottom. And it's pronounced Bottom. I've just told him that, I know. Thank you, thank you. If you don't mind, I'd like to get about my business. Of course, sir. Yes, sir. And we won't mention the obstruction, sir. No, sir. You won't hear another word about it, sir. Nothing about it. No, but you might. Good morning, sir. Morning, Jim. The art squad have put out an alert about their painting job. Do they think the stuff's down here? Well, so far they haven't a clue. It's telex to all areas, check newcomers, estate agents, all the usual. Have all our stations had it? Yes, sir. Well, that is all except one, but uh, I put it on their answering machine. Their what? Well, it's a small station. Staff of two. Little Bottom. Spelt B-O-T-H-A-N. That's right. They were probably out on a job. 
they were. Oh? Are they usually efficient? Well, we've never had cause to call them, and they certainly haven't called us. It's a pretty quiet area. At one time, we were thinking of merging them with the subdivision. Well, stop thinking. Do it. I'll set the wheels in motion. This morning, sir, what job were they on? Me, on the bloody boat. Problem. The tackle has been delivered. Tomorrow night. Time to be fixed later. It's the law. Coming this way. Close the door. Yeah, keep packing. If they come over here, I can handle them. You sure? Certain. Morning, Seth. Morning, Tommy. Morning, Bob. Morning, Seth. Sorry we're a bit late. We've had a bit of trouble on the high street. Right. Right. No vinegar because Charlie's had it at the fish shop, but everything else is there, including your herrings. Fair enough. See you Wednesday. Right. I can never understand a fisherman buying herrings. How many more of these have you to deliver? Just the cosy nook tea rooms. Six strawberry jams, three cans of marge, four tea bags, and a rubber spout. Teapot's broken, see? I couldn't care less, but I object to you using my police car as a delivery van. It's good for it, and it's not as though we ever use it for police work. I do. You little liar. You only use it when you're taking a bird out. So, I'm on the job, aren't I? I never thought of that. Hello, Kim. Hello, darling. I've been waiting nearly an hour. I thought I'd had it. It wasn't with me, Tom. I was the best cook in Little Bottom. In trouble. Tom, I said it wasn't with me. Mr Lloyd suddenly decided to swing a big party. Fifteen for dinner, and you know how he likes his tarts for afters. So wonder he hasn't chased you round the kitchen. Ah, uh, he's harmless. Like Bobby. Bobby harmless? It's a proper Jack Russell when he's roused. Anyway, what can we get for you? Oh, a couple of packets of desiccated coconut and a tin of syrup. All right. Run along then, Bobby lad, while the lady and I have a tape to tape. The lady's entitled to pick her own tape this way, darling. <laughs> The time he's been here and he still doesn't know how to open this door. Hello, I've actually got a message. See to that, Tom, while I attend to the ladies' coconuts. This way, Kim. By the way, it's my night off tonight if you fancy going to pictures. Uh, sorry, Bobby. I'm going to be really busy. Nice little ride in the police car, listen to the police messages. Nice little bit of intercom. Before you know it, yeah? Yeah. Sounds fascinating. Now, if you'd have said tomorrow. Tomorrow? But you're not off tomorrow. I'll cancel all crimes tomorrow. Six o'clock back of the bus shelter. Seven o'clock in front of the bus shelter. We'll see. Now, where's my syrup? Hey, top shelf, you'll have to climb up. Why don't you climb up? There's a very good reason for that. It happens every time. I believe it. Hey, something interesting has come up. Why is it every time a bird comes in here, whatever she wants is always on the top shelf? How do you manage it? I've got set in sight. Right, well, I got the syrup. Now, where's the coconut? It's on the top shelf. You're not getting me up there again? There's some down there, darling. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Tommy. Anything interesting? Oh, yeah.